A common question I get is, how deep should I squat? Well, the answer is it depends. And you can figure out what is the best squat depth and width for you by using a simple tool, a stick. First, you'll take the stick and place it on your back so you have contact from the back of your head, the mid back, and the tailbone. If you have a big arch here, you want to flatten that back out to find your neutral spine. You'll start with what you think is your ideal squat position. For me, I'm going to go with about shoulder width apart and toes slightly out. And I'm simply going to descend down as deep as I can go while maintaining the stick on those spots. I'm good right about here. If I go lower, what you'll see is that my butt starts to tuck under, which is commonly known as a butt wink. The reason it's called a butt wink, I don't know, but if I do the same thing but I go narrow, what you'll notice is as I descend, that butt wink happens much sooner and I start to round my spine, which when done repetitively under heavy load can be a problem. For me, I like to squat a little bit wider, so if I go wide, what you'll notice is I can go a hell of a lot deeper before I even get to that point, if at all, which right here. Look, everybody's hip structure is different, so there's not one perfect way to squat, but there is such thing as a squat form that's more ideal than not. So the best way to figure out what works best for you is to play around with different positions, widths, and depths, and figure out what works best for you for what you're trying to achieve.